Hello there guys and welcome to a new series on my channel. It's called The Mortuary Assistant and it's a horror game of course. Um, the medium wasn't that scary and to be honest I kind of want a, a very scary horror game. Not only one that will scare me with a jump scare but will just really terrify me. Um, with its atmosph atmosphere and the story and I really hope this game was gonna be it. I heard a lot of good things about it. Um, it was quite popular on YouTube for a while. So let's just check it out. Um, I am very curious because the reviews are very good. My friends recommend it to me uh, and I'm just, I really want to try it out. I did check the game. Um, I'm so glad it's I'll okay. tell you in a minute. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I don't never understand why you chose such a macabre feel. There's but... nothing disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You've come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. Just be worried people about you. make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I am kind of surprised by the quality of the voice acting. Because it's not... It's not a... The studio behind this game isn't very big. Uh, I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. I would expect something a bit more amateurish, amateurish than this. This look, this sounds quite professional, to be honest. Thanks. All right, enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. The premise is very interesting. I don't think there's ever been a game where you work in a mortuary, in a morgue. This is new. As I said, I checked this game a, lo a, a little. All right. Wanted to check out go. the um, the options, the graphical options, the controls. I was thinking about playing this game on on a on a controller, but it's not fun. Um, it's just the game wasn't designed for a controller, obviously. Uh, business card, okay. Can I pick it up? No. No, I can... Can I break it? Nope. Come on. Let me break it. Please. Let me break it. Fuck. Okay. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. P.S. Good luck. Um, okay, we can sign. Um, so, oh, sorry. Inventory. I don't want to drop it.
Rebecca. Great. Perfect timing. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Okay. It's been a while since I played on, P on PC. Lately I've just been recording um, on my PS5 and the process is a bit different. What are you doing? You got an error. Um, okay. Kinda wanna explore and open every drawer. Okay. One of them is gonna open their eyes sooner or later, obviously. Um, wait. But yeah, I did try to play it on... Um, I mean, I didn't play it, but I did check out the controls. And it's so, like, unintuitive. I... As much as I prefer playing on a controller, it lets me be stay further away. And that means that there's gonna be less uh, noise. Because my laptop is quite loud. Uh, but yeah, it's so much better with mouse and keyboard. What do I do now? Am I stupid or something? Okay. Do I just... Okay, now it works. Come on. Nice. I'm very curious. I'm drinking some beer. It's strong as fuck. It's just one, but um, by the end of this episode, I might be a bit tipsy. All right, I'm just finishing up something here. So why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Okay. Clipboard is for forms, keeping track of march keeping track of mortuary tasks. Dorothy page age eighty-seven. How do okay, let's start from uh, the feet. Okay. She has a mole on her right foot. Can we move around or is it just... Can we do it from the other side? Yep. A bruise. What was that? These old windows never stay latched. Sure. Just the wind. Um... Nope. 
Um, oh, we just checked her arms. We checked this one, this one. Let's go to the other side. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. I'm not done, Don't though. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. What about the head? Can you check the head? Nothing. Okay, maybe it was the end. Um, I want to see the clipboard. Right arm blemishes. Right, there's a mole on her right leg, and contusion on her left leg. She also has blemishes and rash on her left shoulder. Five out of five. Um, to enter cadaver, uh, to enter cadaver information. What was that? What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? Y yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Okay. I need more. I live alone, so um, I'm kind of starting to get worried. Um, record system, head. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, left shoulder. That's how it works, okay. Um, right arm. Blemishes. Right leg, mole. Uh, Contusion, okay. This is seems name. Do I have to type it in? No, I just tap. Uh, eighty seven, Droty Page. Contusion, um. Seems good, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We did it. It's kind of satisfying. Mm. Okay. Um, how do I, uh, embalming, Time to embalm. what do I do now, um, maybe he will tell me, all right, yeah, set he will, out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Okay. I can't read that. Oh, wire jaw shot with needle injector and setting needles. Oh, that I can check it, check it. Um, I can read it with T. Needle injector and setting needles. And where is that? I guess... Do I have everything I need? I hope so. I'm missing something. Uh, 
I need the wires, right? Okay, not it. Maybe I can just take all of it though. I don't have to. Uh, I can't hold anything else. Okay. I guess I can't pick up anything. I mean everything. Okay, okay, okay. I can't hold anything else. Let's um, start embalming her. Do I just keep pressing? No, I, I, it's a slider. This is so creepy. There we go. But also kind of satisfying. What's next on the list? Insert eye cups to keep eyes shut. Do I have them? Nope. Uh, I guess I have this stuff in my inventory. Ooh. All right. Creepy. What's next? Mix embalming fluid in pump. That is a lot of um A lot of chemicals. I can't hold anything else. Mm, can I? Fuck. Where's my equipment? Okay, there's the uh, inventory. I can. of that and now I need glue like, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce those words no not what I needed but okay I can't hold anything else hmm sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly and it can make them pop like that what just keep doing your thing I'll get it Okay, um, can I just like put in the pockets? No, I can't. Um, okay, let's, let's, um, start mixing the chemicals. This first, then methanol. This, yeah. Methanol. And. Not gonna read that. Can't pronounce it. That's it, right? Yeah. And um, this one. Um, now I need to make an incision in the carotid artery and jugular vein with scalpel. Do I have a scalp? I think I do, unless I... Yeah, I do. Some items need to be used directly on the body to use an item, open quick inventory and select the item needed. Um, what's... I don't have it.
Forceps. Yeah. Oh. Where are the forceps? Yeah. Exactly what I needed. Um. Tubing. We. I think I dropped the tubing on the floor. No, that's a moist, mo moist, moisturizing pad. I can't hold anything else. Come on, what's with your equipment? Can't you put it in your pockets? Drop it. Pick it up. Yep. You know, that's kind of kind of scary to think that this is what they actually do to human bodies. Engage pump and let the body drain. Okay. How much longer? Is it good? I mean... Yeah. Turn off pump, remove the tubes and close the incision. IV reservoir, reservoir bag with cavity fluid, then insert trocar into the abdominal cavity. Into the ass? Fill an empty IV cavity fluid. That's what I need. Where can I find the cavity fluid? That's it? Oh, not what I wanted. Oh, there it is. Now I need to... Trocar. It's somewhere on the floor. Um, no, it wasn't in the house. What am I talking about? Oh, ooh. Those mini games are both um, very gross and weirdly enjoyable at the same time. There we go. Mix cleaners in the bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour it into the embalming pump.
Now I need to... <gasps> um... I didn't... It was there, right? It's not my mind playing tricks on me. Okay, let's pour it into the embalming tank. I guess we'll have to wait. Mm. Now a mo moisturizer, which is this, to the face. I don't like that sound. <laughs> Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh, are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Okay. I didn't finish applying the moisturizer. Go ahead. It's fine. I'll give you a call when we get someone in. I didn't finish my job. Fuck you. Bye. My first body. <laughs> nice. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He's supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. Nice. I was hoping you could come in and... I guess this is where it's gonna start. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. You're doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badges and your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit, that was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. See? I told you it was fine. Who even likes doing a job like this? Thanks. It's... I, have to go. I don't well, know, it's so grim and so later. weird. It's... like... Uh, where are my keys? How can you be happy about doing this job? Unless there's something weird or wrong about you. It's a job that needs to be done, I know, but it's like... It's a bit strange to enjoy it, you know? Oh. I don't know, change my mind. That's at least what I think. My keys... Fuck. 
Oh, it's a grandma. I thought it's her mom. Coffee. Let's make a cup of coffee. Oh. We have a long night ahead of us. Chips and cereal. Let's go. I bet he's gonna be like, this is where the scares are gonna come. Oh. Okay, let's leave the car. And start right. the night so full of adventurers. <gasps> what are you afraid of? Who gasped? You won't scare me anymore, Mirror. I repent. <sighs> Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. <gasps> I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? Someone's so really there. But listen to me. We have to start right away. I didn't I'm see sorry. that person. Funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll, I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Stay Easy for you to tell. For you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. I am the one who has to stay no, here oh, with what ghosts. This is insane. Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just so the ghost is gone. Play along and do your job. Oh god. Okay. Do we have? I don't have my clipboard. Okay. I want my clipboard. What is it? Give me my clipboard. No. No. Come on. Hmm. Not my clipboard. Give me a. Where's my clipboard? My clipboard. This looks like it. Why can't I pick it up? Have it with me. I 
I feel stupid right now. Very stupid. That's not it. No. We need to get in first. I'm quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? Let's pick up the phone. All right, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <sighs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. Come on, dude. It's like... This is insane. Whatever. Just professional one grab a body and get started so she just gets hired i mean she's a student and she does her internship or whatever and like this dude is like oh let's just fucking sacrifice this girl to a bunch of demons and what was he thinking i mean like does she just gonna become like She's just gonna take his place or whatever, and like. Uh, he's the real villain here. But anyway, um, that's a really good game. I'm really s excited so far, and I'm kind of anticipating these characters that are gonna come soon. Uh, but I think this is a good time to end the episode. I'm gonna record the next one very soon. Um. For you it might be a couple of days, we'll see. But for now, bye guys, and see you later.